Good morning, everyone. Today we're gonna do a what sold. We're here in the storage unit. It's been a while yeah, since we've a while. <laughs> done a video from here, but it is Monday morning. The kids, we dropped them off at school. It's been two weeks <laughs> since we've been able to do that. So um, Kathy had quite a bit of sales over the weekend and we're gonna get them pulled. It is a very busy. <laughs> if you hear any noise in the background, we actually met our neighbor, <laughs> the storage unit directly next to us. She was here briefly this morning, but yeah, let's get going with what's sold. All right, I did want to thank Brittany. Uh, she did buy us three coffees since the last video. Uh, she also messaged me on Instagram that she found a jelly cat at the bins. So her, her buy me coffee said, thank you for all the free knowledge. I have learned so many brands from y'all now to list that jelly cat pepper. So she yeah. had found a jelly cat, like it's like a red pepper, just like um. That was a cool one. Like a bell pepper, like yeah. Like a bell pepper. <laughs> it was, and I was looking, well, she showed me a comp, but then yeah, I was telling Chris about it and like I saw it sold for like 35 bucks. So that's crazy. <laughs> so I don't think I've ever found a jelly cat that valuable. Yeah. So awesome find and awesome. thank you so much for the coffee, Brittany. Yeah, Brittany, thank you so um, much for the support. Get that listed. Yeah. It's All like right. the perfect thing for like your chef friend, right? I know. I, I thought of Katie the, yeah, <laughs> the second funny. I thought. Like, what are people doing with all these jelly cats? I, I think yeah. they're cute, but I don't know. All right. <laughs> I think I have 50 sales and we're two lights down on our light because I didn't charge it over the weekend. So we're going to go. Yeah. A um, couple things that I brought from the house because I hadn't bagged them up to bring here yet. I just wanted to show you guys. So this cow costume from the bins sold for $16.96 plus shipping. So I'm glad that sold before Halloween. Yeah. Assume again, so we don't keep all the cost of goods anymore. Anything that we say is a bins item, assume around $2 is what I paid for it. So $2 yeah. into $16.96 plus ship. Our bins pricing right now is what, a dollar? seventy nine or $1.69, dollar sixty nine like seventy nine a pound. Yeah. So however many pounds times that. Right. Uh, and then this was just in our recent, um, I don't know. Tall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like losing my this sold real quick. Um, yeah, this did sell really quick. I think I said I hoped it would sell for 30. I don't even think I had looked up comps at the time, but I figured it would sell for 30. So I think I listed it at 30 or maybe 35, but I sent an offer to a watcher of 26 plus ship. Sold really fast. Nice. Yeah, um, that was just duo fold by a champion. So I don't really know anything about it. I just know long johns are something that people need, stuff that people need or. It's stuff that always sells. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. And then this Nautica blazer also sold fast. Sweet. So, yeah, that was from the bins. Uh, two dollars into probably twenty or around two dollars into twenty-one plus shipping. So okay. not too bad. Nice. Yeah. And that's so fast. Like when I'm getting watchers right away on my new stuff, I do still send offers. Like yeah. if I'm paying two dollars, I want to move it quickly. Mm-hmm. You know, 21 minus eBay fees and stuff, I'm probably making like 15 or $16 profit. But like to move yeah. it like in a day, that's, if I could move everything I list in a day for $16 <laughs> profit, I'd be really happy. Be a happy mama. Yeah. I, I feel like, yeah, when you buy stuff from the bins, we kind of have a different yeah. look at it. And, you know, when you spend right. 15 bucks on a pair of shoes, you kind of have to get a little bit more from it. So yeah, if someone offered 21 the first day on something I paid 10 for, I wouldn't accept. So yeah. yeah. That awesome. is the reason I do love going to the bins. Some fit flops. Uh, these are like a slip on ballet flat. I bought for $7.99, sold for $21 on Posh. One offered, I accepted. All right, BH. These Toms, just basic red slip ons. I bought for five. Someone offered $20 on Posh, I accepted. And then they said, thank you so much. They were going to turn them into ruby slippers for Halloween. So hopefully oh, they make cool. it on time. I mean, Halloween's like a week away, but. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> Put some gem, those rhinestone things on it yeah. or something. All right. So a pair of ortho feet um, for 40 on Posh. That was an offer someone sent. I accepted. Um, I have my cost of goods as 1066. I remember the thrift store had those as $20, but like that was the day where there was like an ARC coupon of $20 mm. off. So I must have averaged my cost of goods. So pretty good little sale there. Those look like my shoes just yeah, right are. the same model. <laughs> yeah, they're just women's ones. <laughs> All right, AO. I know I said I was gonna do the Patagonia thing where you mm. turn it in for credit or whatever, but I didn't, I listed it. <laughs> it is just so yeah, much easier, right? It really is. And it's over $20. I 
it had a lot of lights even still in the condition. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, the condition actually wasn't bad. All the down feathers seem like they're in place. The material seems like it's in good shape. It just looks like someone tried to dye it. Yeah. It went wrong. So. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 20 bucks from a bins item. I'm happy to have that. Uh, if you find a, even a, this is a kid size Patagonia. If you find one at all in better shape, you can probably expect at least $50. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. A H. of Beyond Yoga bike shorts. These were actually my personal shorts. I don't remember what I bought them for, but they sold for 23 with discount shipping on Posh. I got a lot of wear out of those, so happy to make back probably $17 or so. Very nice. BT. This is Naturalizer, but it's sold by Naturalizer, so a little bit of a lower end line of Naturalizer. I just thought this was a cute style of shoe. It didn't perform super well. I bought them for $7.99, sold for $23 with discount shipping, so I'm probably about doubling my money. It's okay. okay. <laughs> Not a home run. I'm gonna make them profit. <laughs> when you add up all these little five, six, ten dollar profits, it they add up. is a lot. They do. I mean, it's added up to October's been one of your and best months I think ever, October's right? It's going to be my best month ever. Yeah. Assuming I can keep it up this next And week. you've done a lot of Ben's items this month. Yeah. We've done been doing a lot of Ben's hauls, as you guys have <laughs> seen. Right. Um, I know at the beginning of this year, I was like, gung ho, and I'm only doing shoes the whole year, not yeah. doing anything else. And I do like shoes. I can get through them way faster. Yeah. But I really like seeing the profit, even if it's like $15 just on anything, literally yeah. anything. So. And it's nice to just only spend like a hundred bucks and have all of the items for a week. Whereas shoes, I'd have to spend 800 to a thousand mm -hmm. just to get my listing. So, yeah. all right, this is the brand Market and Spruce. It's just a basic green t-shirt. This is actually my personal shirt. I think I bought it at Goodwill and then it sold for 1101 plus ship. I wore it plenty of time. So I'm making a little profit there. All right, BM. Then Item also Cynthia Rowley PJs. I bought at the <laughs> uh, it's so different when everything's from the bins. Okay. I'm normally like, I bought this at Goodwill, I bought this at Arc, I yeah. bought this at whatever. Okay. Uh $16.96 plus ship is what it sold for. So okay. not too bad. Alright, and then BN. This is a pair of chubbies, the boys size swim chunks. I actually bought these for my son. I think I just looked at their size chart wrong because these are like way too big for him mm -hmm. and I don't want to keep them for like a few years. Yeah. So I bought them on Mercari, although I bought them 100% with like Mercari credit that came from referral money. So mm -hmm. I'm considering them free. I sold them on Kitizen for $27 with free shipping. Uh, the shipping was $4.85. So I'm probably making about $20 off these. They actually had a couple stains on them too. So very cool. happy with that. Yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel that way by signing up through Macari or Poshmark or any of those. Yeah. There are links down in our description, and that's you what you use join. it for. Yeah, I, I use it for the We buyers. kind of, it, it really does help support us, and it does go a long way, believe it or not. So we do thank you guys so much for that. Uh, this is the brand Chaser, just a basic t-shirt says, the future is love. I got this retail arbitrage for $3.50. This one sold for $10.16 plus ship. I think I had a few of these originally. So one multi-quantity listing probably didn't turn into a whole lot of money, but probably $20 to $30 profit for all of them mm -hmm. over time. Okay, uh, BW. Um, this is actually going out to my friend Kelly, uh, just a kid is in friend. I doubt she watches our videos, but if you do, <laughs> thanks so much, Kelly. Uh, these are Abercrombie Kids jeans. These were actually, I bought these for my son off Kid is in for 20. They didn't really fit him. They don't have the little adjusters on the waist, so oh. they didn't work out for him, but they're super cute jeans, and Kelly bought them for 25 free shipping. Awesome. So, yeah, I think the shipping was 6.85. so I'm losing a couple bucks, but that's yeah. okay. Sometimes that happens. Kelly, thank you so much. Yeah. If you do happen to watch... All right, B.A. It's kind of sad our boys are getting to that age where they don't get the <laughs> adjustable jeans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little Converse kid shoes. These I bought at Once Upon a Child for $6.50. Sold for $16.96 plus ship on eBay. Nice. And then A.T. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dutch Bros beanie from the bin, sold for $9.31 plus shipping. Nice. Let's see. brand Omni Wool. I bought this last winter. I thought it would sell for at least $20. I did pay $5.99 for it. It did not sell for $20. It sold for $12.71 plus shipping a year later. Okay. So <laughs> okay. Maybe doubling my money. Probably not quite. But not losing money. Yeah. Probably wouldn't pick it up again unless it came from the bin. So. Okay. CE. There's the brand Key Imperial. These are some men's overalls. I've sold so many of these. Yeah. Um, these ones, I don't know if I just said they're from the bins, but <laughs> they sold for 25. Someone offered, I accepted. These got relisted by Pasha VA and then sold the same day on an offer. So. Okay. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So not through Pasha VA. Well, I think because they got relisted, they are back at the top of search. And then when yeah. somebody was searching for them, because. To have been relisted, they've been listed at least 60 days, I believe it is. So Gotcha. Right. So they didn't sell for 60 days, but then the day they got relisted, they sold. So Sweet. It, it just depends on who's looking at that what time. Activity. Right. Yeah. And like, you know, people don't want to necessarily keep scrolling for days and days when they just want the, yeah. the thing that they want. And I, there's always this, you know, something that's been on the market for yeah. longer than so long. It just gets this stigma right. that there's something wrong mm -hmm. with it. Everywhere, I right? The houses, all that kind of stuff. Posh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the longer something sits on a shelf, the the more people are like, there's something wrong with it yeah. subconsciously. So True. relisting I, helps. I just saw a house that we looked at when we were looking at houses months ago that's still available and is dropping yeah. in price. And I'm like, man, there's there must there be something wrong with it, right? Wrong with that house. <laughs> <laughs> That's been months. <laughs> yeah, that house is haunted, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, so these Adidas flip flops on eBay for $16.96 plus ship. I bought them for $5.99. When in reality, the house is probably a perfectly good house. <laughs> they probably just overpriced it to begin yeah. with, which is honestly what I think I did with these. I priced them at 49 yeah. knowing Posture VA would send 20% off because that's what my Posture VA does. Yeah. Um, and then when it relisted, because in every morning when my new relisted items, I go and change the price if I think it needs it. And I did drop yeah. them to 39 and then someone offered 25 So. And guys, our Posture VA can be your Posture VA too. <laughs> Check out the link in the description. <laughs> you can try it out for two weeks. It and it does. It, it basically makes Poshmark not sponsored. Not sponsored. We're technically not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> but it is an affiliate link. We do yeah. get a little kickback at no additional cost. Yeah. So it, it truly is. I mean, it's amazing. Honestly. It makes Poshmark <laughs> completely yeah. like set it and forget it. It does for us. So. Um, I sold these Keen shoes on eBay for twenty nine seventy one plus ship. I bought those for nine. Sweet. Nope. All right, BK. <clears throat> so the Eric Michael booties. I believe this is a viewer. So Sam, thank you so much. Um, bought them for twenty one plus ship on eBay. So those sold quickly. Cool. They were in a recent bins haul. I have never heard of the brand or sold it. I felt like they were a nice quality leather, so I took a chance. All right. Sam, thank you so much yeah, for the I support. Hope you love them. <laughs> All right. Actually, another viewer sale. So BD, thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I said last weekend. <laughs> I didn't think any of them were viewer shows when I did the video on my own when you were, yeah. when the boys were home and everything. So I think a few of them actually were though. So sometimes I think people just don't tell me they're viewers yeah. or yeah. maybe I forgot that you've bought before. <laughs> so obviously I'm always sorry if I forget. Yeah. But I appreciate all of your guys' support always. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, this pair of sandals, Tiva, is going out to Becky and she bought them for 15 plus ship on eBay. These are from the bins and she just wanted to thank us um, cause she's learned a lot from us, specifically the brand Freebird. She found a pair for 13.99 and she Whoa, would have never known about them. So, Becky. Yeah, those should sell. I'm hoping they'll sell yeah. over $100 for you. So awesome and awesome. thank you so much for your purchase. Thank you so much for the support, yeah. <laughs> All right, box A. This is a funny sale. <laughs> I'm glad this sold, but I'm like making nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun? Is that what you? It's fun. You'll see. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so fun. Stop. <laughs> sold a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> I did for way less than I hoped. Well, I hoped I would sell it for like $10. It's over $5. Hey. But it's from the bins. I remember these from like our school days, yeah? Yeah. These are pretty old. I think so. This doesn't have a date on it, but... Yeah, the pumpkin little... erasers 
I'm reminded of that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, five bucks for one pencil and they paid Poshmark shipping on top of it. They're probably all in like 15 bucks. That is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but (laughs) I'm happy. It came from the bins. I'm considering this free. I know we say our cost of goods is $2, but this literally cost nothing. It was a toss in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sweet. That is fun. It's fun. I always remember when I first started, well, not first started reselling, but first started watching YouTube content, Matt at Part-Time Pickers. Yeah. He would always find random, like, pens or pencils, (laughs) just, like, the most random things. Underwear. Vintage underwear. (laughs) And every time then I started to look for it, and then I would, yeah. So that reminded me of that that time. Yeah. And I've sold some vintage underwear because of (laughs) Thanks, Matt. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Uh, these are the Nayot sandals from the recent bins haul with the cork damage. They sold in one day of listing for thirty three ninety six plus ship, even with cork damage. So, nice. Yeah, definitely still pick them up. Just disclose it. Yeah. Like if I you said, remember, it was kind of on the heel yeah. here a little bit. And they retail for like, a hun- I want to say $170. So it's this hard to person see that one. got them for, you know, even with shipping, less than 50 All they have to do is probably put some glue in yeah. the heels and they'll be good to go. Okay. Okay, so this is probably our transition to the other side after. I guess I'll go this way. This is, I don't want it to drag on the ground, but. Some coveralls, huh? Yeah, the brand is just Burn. Burn? I think those just might be from like Walmart or something. B E R N E, okay. But they were a men's 4X. I did get them at the bins. Obviously, by weight, I did pay a lot for these, but one, that's why we say $2, because when I buy things like a pencil, it yeah. offsets things like this. Yeah. So if you divided my whole bins class up. Oh, my God, there's Uh-oh. on the floor. <laughs> I'll dust it off. Anyways, if you divide my bins costs <laughs> by everything, and that's why we say $2. All right. Those overall sold for $33.96 plus shipping. So, Very nice. Yeah. were the ones we did in the beginning okay i have two on the shoe shelf i did pre-peek to make sure they were there they she's pre-peeking <laughs> um look at my shoe shelf thing i know your shoe racks because They're i've bare. been doing less shoes only i'm not finding as many boots and yeah we're selling off the ones i have so and this is yeah pretty not full. <laughs> <laughs> and these Crocs duck boots sold for 28 on Posh. I did buy t- these for $12.99 like a year ago. So when I got that offer this morning, I was happy to accept. Just wanted to move those along. Still making a small profit. And then this oh. pair of Uggs. Really nice. They're just the Coolabura. So like the lower end lined. And those had a sticker residue on the ankle. Mm. Which I showed in the photos and everything. But Anyways, I thought these were just like in perfect condition. So I did pay $16.99 for them. They took a while to sell. Finally sold for $39 with discount shipping. So okay. I think it's only about a $10 to $12 profit. But yeah. Okay. Glad to get that $16.99 back because $16.99. That could buy like bins. 10 things at the bins. <laughs> All right. It's a <laughs> lot of money. So. All right. I was just checking. We're, we're down. <laughs> We got two bars left, so we're not doing too bad. Yeah. Halfway through, I'm trying. If it goes dark, (laughs) I noticed I was talking really fast a lot of times over there. Sorry. If the lights go out, we'll we'll still survive. All right, easy. I um, stumbled upon one of our old videos from when we first got the storage unit the other day. Yeah. When we were doing the videos in the dark and you were just brightening them up, that looked so bad. Yeah. Guys, if you've been here that long. Thanks for bearing with us. All right, this is that, uh, I don't know how you say it. I think it's Kish, K-I-S-C-H-E. It came from the bin, just like a nice open front cardigan, like super flowy material. Uh, 23 with discount shipping on Posh, so $2 into that, not too bad. Cool. All right, F-A. These are some Sperry's. They are small size women's five and a half, so I think these took a while to sell. But I bought them for five. They sold for 17 with discount shipping. So I'm probably just about doubling my money. Not okay. great. Ooh, this is either EU or EV. <laughs> so <laughs> pick one. Yeah, good thing they're right next to each other. Cool. Uh, these are a pair of Democracy jeans from the bins. Uh, someone offered 14 this morning. I thought that was super low. I had them priced at 39. I usually get... I usually get around 30 for any, these are size 12. So like mm-hmm. size 12 plus, I would get around 30. These are in really good condition too. 
So I did counter them at, I think, 30. And then they came up to 18. I got them at the bins. Yeah. If it was anything else I would have accepted, I just, like, have this idea in my head that these are worth 30, so it's hard to <laughs> just let myself accept. But, yeah. like, that's the whole point of doing any of this is to make money. <laughs> and I'm still making $12. Yeah. I could hold out for maybe, like, $15. I also noticed, because I was sending out 40% offers on some stuff this weekend on Posh, and mm -hmm. so the other people that had liked this item got a 23 with discount shipping, which is basically, like, a $21 offer. Yeah. So it was only a couple dollars less than that. So, yeah. Yeah. So Might as well take was, it. I had tried these on, and I liked them, so I'm like... Do I want to sell them and make twelve dollars profit, or just keep them? So I decided to take the money. <laughs> I'm wearing my Vuori pants from the bins from the other day. Oh, you so, got to keep yeah. them? Nice. Yeah, I did. That notice. made up for it. Well, when I noticed when I put them on today, so I don't know if I would have been able to sell them anyways. It looked like someone oh. stitched a little bit right there, yeah. and like some strings down here. But these cost like ninety bucks if you buy them new. So I got them for essentially nothing at all. Yeah. I'm very happy with that. All right, Fr. Some toms, they're like a nice plaid wool blend. Uh, I thought I could get over 20, probably like 25 for these, but when I went to list them, just like on the inner like loop, they're like fraying. So mm. I listed them lower and then someone offered 17. Okay. I went ahead and accepted. They also paid shipping. I bought them for 7 dollars so not making a whole lot. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, EY. You know, it's even when you don't sell something for as much as you want, it's still momentum. You're yes, getting things moving. Right. You're getting room cleared out so you have room for more stuff. I that's have a lot of room for more stuff. <laughs> that's really what it is. I it's what's I all about. Under fifteen hundred items active this week. Under fifteen hundred? Yeah, because we sold I think I had fifty sales, a couple bundles probably, so Yeah. Probably fifty five items cleared out. So yeah. I'm under 1,500 items. My goal this year was to get to 2,000. I don't think I'm going to get to that now. I was over 1,800 at one point, but... I don't know. I think you could list, stuff. like, an <laughs> addition to all your sales, like another five, 600 items. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, no. You think? You, <laughs> I just... can barely keep up with what I'm doing. Oh, I just set those down and even talk oh. about them. <laughs> uh, these are little, some little Crocs, uh, girl size. I bought these for $7.99. They took forever to sell. I finally sent a 40% offer, so 16 with discount shipping. Someone accepted, so I'm not losing money, but making probably like two or three bucks there. Cool. Yeah. All right. This is a viewer sale going out to Jennifer. FS. Right. I love this little shirt. I'm glad you got this, Jennifer. Um, the brand is June and Gray. It's just a little Christmas tree farm mm. sweatshirt. So. Uh, she got that for 23 with discount shipping on Posh. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, Jennifer, thank you so much yeah, for that support. Yeah, my wore that last year, and it was so cute. I don't know if I, don't know if I even got any pictures of it, but <laughs> I probably honestly paid $30 for that because I had to have it. So. <laughs> All right, DK. I think it's way over here. These are those Hylite insoles, shoe insoles. I did pay $3.99 for these. They sold for $12.71 plus ship, so not huge money, but it's a cool little sale. I like selling stuff like yeah. this. Yeah. Um, this person did say, please ship ASAP, so. You got it, dude. Messed up their <laughs> insoles somehow. All right. Yeah, just imagine if this whole unit was full of just insoles. <laughs> I mean, you'd be able to fit like 20,000 yeah, in here. Probably. Yeah. Uh, some mini Tonka sandals. Got these from the bin. Sold them for 16 plus shipping. Okay, GM. Right over here. The Ginger Marvin box. <laughs> some men's Asics running shoes. Really good shape. I bought for $5.99. Sold for 27 plus ship. Nice. nice. FP. Some women is just basic Nike flex shoes, bought for 10, sold for 21, 21 plus ship, so probably like eight, eight or so dollars profit there. Okay, GU. These are some Cabela's camel pants from the bin, sold for 28 with discount shipping on Posh. Sweet. GS. Some Dansko. These are called the Wind. These are actually men's. I bought for 15, sold for 37 plus ship. Nice. 
I do miss selling shoes. Like, I just miss <laughs> going out and getting, like, 100 pairs of shoes and yeah. just listing them so fast, but... When is the last time you went to a thrift store a to get shoes? Like, it's been I was a while. That the other day. You're like, gonna have to go. Last night we were waiting on our grocery order. We probably had like 20 minutes. Yeah. And Chris is like, "Do you want me to go to Goodwill? Because it's like right by there." And I was like, "Honestly, she no, not really. Out. Like, I don't." Because <laughs> <laughs> I would find stuff that I'd want to buy, and then yeah, I don't know. it's just I already have plenty of stuff at the house, and I want to go to Ben's tomorrow. So, <laughs> all right. So these crop slide sandals for twenty nine seventy one plus ship. I bought these for ten. Nice. That is the nice thing about working for yourself. Yeah. You can change it up whenever you want. I know. I guess as long as it works out. <laughs> <laughs> it's been working out really well. Yeah. Just, stuff does take me longer to lift. Honestly, the bin stuff takes longer. It just all yeah. comes lint rolling. But a lot of it doesn't have well, the good tags. tags attached to it or like writing on the bottom of shoes. Some of it does because some of it does come from Goodwill, but a lot of it's just like people. Sent straight down. through. Yeah. Uh, these are Abeo little booties, bought for nine, sold for twenty nine plus ship. All right, we got a viewer bundle seal going out to Debbie. So let me grab the four items. We're in FK. PQ. <laughs> I was over looking for DQ. Oh, I see that one. And GX. Okay. Uh, Debbie got this New Balance little cinch sack, like a little backpack. Mm. Um, the Antiller Loft. I called it a knit gator, I think, but I don't know what you would call it. I mean, it's like a scarf. Yeah. It's like a nice knit scarf. I'd say it's a scarf or neck right. warmer like kind of thing. The neck gator is more of like a man's thing, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, Vans flannel, new bag, and then a black face beanie. So total for those four items was fifty four eighty eight. So thank you so much, Debbie. Yeah. They all came from the bins. Debbie, thank you so much for all the amazing support. We do appreciate you very much. We do. All right, EY. I see that. There it is. This one, the Golfino. Oh, uh, nice. Little visor. Sold for 15 with discount shipping on Posh. I'm making like 10 bucks off that, minus Ben's class of goods. Quick sale. Yeah. All right, ES. ES or Frank? S, yeah. All right. Sam. Edward Sam. I'm not using the <laughs> normal military. <laughs> what would that be? Huh. Echo. Echo Sally? I don't know. It's, I don't remember what the S is. I'm going to put, we need to put like a, a wall hanging yeah, there so we know what it is. <laughs> we sound like ridiculous. <laughs> one, it's just me and Chris here putting stuff away. I make up the most ridiculous yeah. one I could think of. Um, <laughs> sold these Nike flip flops for 24 plus shipping on eBay. Those I bought at the bins. Sweet. The EP. Mini Tonka from the bins. Oh, oh there it goes. There goes the Two light. More. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll talk fast. So, yeah, these Mini Tonka from the bins sold for 28 plus ship. All right, to DT. This one, I'm hardly making any money. But I'm glad to see them go. Uh, this is the brand JBU, which I do. It does okay. I just can only buy it, like, at the bins. And these I bought at a normal thrift like around $10 mm -hmm. and they sold for 21 with discount shipping. So very small profit. So yeah, I definitely would not pay up for them anymore, but that's when I was just like going and trying to get as many pairs as I could in a day. Yeah. Knowing I could at least make a small profit. So, okay. DS. This is that Garnet Hill nightgown, Moo Moo. <laughs> bueno. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 29 with discount shipping on Posh. Also from the bins. Sweet. Hey, EJ, small profit. Right there. Well, right in front of my face. <laughs> uh, so Puma is just, it's just not a brand that does well for me, but I keep picking it up. And I did pay $8.99 for these. They finally sold for $17.81 plus ship. Okay. Yeah. Would pick up at the bins, probably would not pick up at a normal thrift. For $8.99, yeah. yeah. All right, DV. Right there. 
These are those Hudson jeans that came from the bins. The ones I said were dusty. Mm. Uh, literally, I just like <laughs> smacked them a few times and the dust all came <laughs> off. So I didn't even have to put them in the dryer or anything. Um, and they sold for $46 plus shipping Ooh. within like the first month. So that's pretty good. Pro tip, guys. Smack your jeans <laughs> to make them worth more. Yeah. Okay. You, right. you learn that here. Don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> Please definitely give us credit. Share that <laughs> tip with anybody else. <laughs> is the brand wild fox it's just like a rainbow sweatshirt it says easy does it this was actually my personal shirt and i sold it for 15 with discount shipping on posh you'll make him back probably 10. i don't know what i bought it for but i wore it plenty and last sale of the weekend is er er this is the marine layer sweater from the bins oh thank god i was like <laughs> I just realized this is not going to fit in a padded flat rate. And I'm like, please say I did not make a padded flat rate envelope for this. And I did it. I made a just a normal two pound grand, ground advantage. So okay. they live in California. So it was probably a little bit more. But I guess myself at the house printing labels was smart enough to realize this probably wouldn't fit in a padded flat rate. I can tell you were thinking about using yeah. a padded flat rate. So yeah, it was. Okay. So yeah, Marine Layer. Good brand to look out for. This came from the bin. Sold for $50.96 plus shipping. Sweet. Yeah. So that's the last one. I don't know if you guys can see anymore, <laughs> but look at all that stuff going out for over the weekend. Guys, thank you so much for all of the support. We do appreciate it. We were thinking about showing some of the packing up, but we're yeah, 30 minutes in. <laughs> so I think we're going to call it here. Um, I thought I knocked your coffee over. I'm so sorry. I know some people don't like the shipping and then some people do. So it makes it so hard to like know what to do. Yeah. So we'll probably just do. We'll a just keep doing a variety. Yeah. yeah. I mean, especially since we're still working on the house. Um, I've made a lot of progress. All the flooring is done. I'm going through and doing uh, the trim now. So I've got a trim. I've got the trim done in one of the bedrooms. Uh, and now that the kids are back in school, I'll be able to do a lot more. It's been hard. <laughs> right. It's been tough with the kids. Just, you know, they get bored. They've also been grounded from their iPads. <laughs> so they've been having to play outside a lot. So I got to learn how to ride his bike better. Yeah. So he's doing tricks and stuff. And how to play chess. And they've learned how to play chess. <laughs> it's been a good fall break. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.